Listen to this article. The two parties are ready to enter an association under the next generation of rules of the power unit after the Volkswagen Group advised the approval of Porsche and its sister brand, Audi, to explore the entrance of F1 to early this year. The agreement will make Porsche take a 50% stake in Operation F1 of Red Bull, as confirmed in the legal paperwork that emerged in Morocco towards the end of last month. The documents also stated that the agreement could be announced as soon as today, August 4, but the green light has not yet been given. Red Bull F1 head, Christian Horner, said in Hungary that there was still a long process to pass before any possible agreement could be announced, pointing out the warnings surrounding Porsche's state as a new manufacturer of engines and what concessions can obtain. The VW Group has been reluctant to the final approval until the engine rules by 2026 are finished, which means that while the regulations remain unfinished, the announcement of Red Bull and Porsche must wait. Red Bull expected to make public the news in his local career in Austria almost a month ago. Some of the details include how many hours will be allowed in motor tests for a new entity like Porsche, as well as the material used for engine pistons. While existing manufacturers want to use steel given their previous experience, it is understood that Porsche is interested in a change to aluminum. The dribble on these issues has caused the electronic vote planned by the Motor World Council Motor to postpone. Initially, it was intended to take place on August 2, but this has now retired to August 8. The results can take more time due to summer holidays. Porsche F1 Render Render Photo 4, Camille de Bastiani. Speaking to Motorsport's sister publication, Motorsport Total in Hungary, Red Bull advisor, Helmut Marko, said the matter was very simple. The decision of the VW board is that if the technical regulations comply with the criteria, then they have the mandate of entering Formula One, Marco said. That is mainly related to the cost limit, sustainability, zero emission fuel, equal opportunities such as newcomer, so that more dynamometer capacity, etc., but in purely formal terms, these new regulations still do not exist. Supposedly, the president of the FIA will put it to the vote soon in an email vote. Only then will things be officially launched. Ferrari and Mercedes have previously denied that they were dragging their heels by approving the new rules to frustrate the PL of Porsche and Audi.